New York is my hometown, so I want to bring all of the work that I do here and have um, an event like this where we get to share it with people. Um, and uh, New York will tell you the truth, so that's always a nice experience. Not always, but always. Well, he's a tech giant who kind of lives in his own mind. Um, he became attracted to Bernadette when they were in college and she was a creative artist living in her own mind and I think they both had a fierce ad advocacy for one another because they knew that there's a portion of what was happening internally to them that they could never share. They had either their work or their creative influence. That was the only conduit to that kind of lightning they had inside them. So it was an exciting relationship and marriage and Elgin gets caught up in the success of his company, in the success of his technology, in the fact that now living in a new economy where technology is so important, so it makes him one of the forerunners in the zeitgeist, and um, I think that's an unexpected twist for him, and one that takes him away from his marriage. I think it's a human experience, and uh, it's certainly as told by Maria and interpreted by Rick, it, very funny and um, idiosyncratic and uh, those are the kinds of um, comedies that I appreciate and uh, I feel grateful to get an opportunity to explore. He creates the e a really easy environment for, uh, you're generally left with a taste of the, uh, the experience that you're left with from doing a film is typically how the director managed the set. So if they're a tyrant, whether the movie's good or bad, what you remember is the tyranny. If they're a gentle, creative spirit, uh, what you remember is that spirit. And Rick carries that in spades. And uh, Kate does as well. And they're both hyper ambitious and they can't wait to get to work every day. And uh, that's the kind of experience that you can't wait for.